was here between these two buildings that former Lebanese Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri was killed by a massive car bomb along with 20 other people 10 months ago. During my coverage of the Middle East portion of the project, one thing became very apparent to me. The conflicts in this politically and religiously complex region are seemingly intractable. They've been going on so long that the hatreds and the animosities seem to be the real enemy. In just seven months from my scheduled stop here in Lebanon, Israel and Hezbollah will be at war once again. And I'll find myself back in Beirut, where these peaceful streets will be filled with military trucks and Lebanese civilians fleeing the country to safer havens. But on this trip, I'll visit victims from another intractable conflict and another mass exodus. Palestinian refugees who fled or were forced from their homes after the creation of Israel in 1948 and the Six-Day War in 1967, as well as their children and their grandchildren, who were born in the squalor of refugee camps like this one all over the Middle East. 18-year-old Fadi Mohammed and more than 300,000 other Palestinians in 12 camps like this throughout Lebanon is not allowed to work outside the camp, receive social security, access the Lebanese healthcare system, or even own land. So I ask myself, why I uh, learn uh, 15 or 16 years if I can't uh, take a job in Lebanon? Why I study? So, so what, here, what do you decide for yourself then? Uh, so I put, uh, I tell it to myself, I, I am studying for, for me, not for, uh, for people. There are over 5 million Palestinian refugees living in camps across the Middle East. But most don't possess Fadi's sense of hope, as their right of return to what they still call Palestine has been disputed by both Israelis and Arabs for decades. Do you feel that you'll go back to Palestine someday, or do you feel like yeah, you're... Yeah, it's, it's my dream, and I, no time, I think that I, I wouldn't get uh, back to Palestine. No, I put it in my mind that I would, if, if it is the, the, last time, the last day of my, in my life, I will get to Palestine. But you've never been there. You've never seen it. You've only heard stories. No, I never see it. I see it from uh, south only. I see it uh, from afar. So why is it so important to you? Because it's my country. A person uh, get, uh, get you from uh, from your house and uh, and they put you on the street and sleep in the street and he live in, in, his, in your house. So what do you say? So it's uh, it's the same. It's my house. It's my country. My people there. In Islam, sacrifice is the highest honor. And in the Palestinians' fight against Israel's military and economic dominance, the martyr has become its ultimate weapon. Young, disillusioned Palestinian men willing to fight for their cause and expecting to die for it. I see this firsthand at a hospital morgue after hearing that two members of the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, an armed faction of Yasser Arafat's Fatah movement, had just been killed while trying to fire rockets into southern Israel. Dozens of young Palestinian men have already pushed their way inside in what I'm told is an almost daily occurrence. The next day, the martyrs are carried through the streets. Funerals here do more than honor the dead. They're a release of emotion for the living, an explosive expression of the anger that marks daily life in Gaza. Some of the mourners wear masks to protect their identity. They wear headbands or carry flags to show their allegiance to Fatah, Hamas, or Islamic Jihad, the three main Palestinian militias. The glorification of martyrs is taught at an early age. A whole new generation of Palestinians shaped and molded by violence. Textbooks here in Gaza don't even show Israel on the map. The martyr is finally brought to the gravesite. His mother cries and screams against Israel and praises Allah. This is typically a proud moment for mothers of martyrs. Many Muslims believe that dying in an attack against Israel will earn one a place in paradise. 
This is a scene that will be repeated several times the same week as four other Palestinian fighters are killed as they try to fire rockets into Israel. 